Things that you should be doing every week before reset so you don't miss out on them. Hello guys, my name is Stefan Ash and today I'll be going over three important things that you should be doing every week in Final Fantasy XIV if you are level 80. I will be giving some tips that I found to make this go heaps quicker and make it a little bit more streamlined. Keep in mind that this video is for players who have reached level 80 and completed the main story content. If you are under level 80 as well as have not completed the main story, that should be your first priority. Before we jump in this video, I have a newly created free company that is currently accepting applications, Stefan Ash headquarters on the Goblin server. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. Number 1. Wondrous Tales Grab the Wondrous Tales is a book of experience that you unlock near Idleshire in the Heavensward expansion. It is an easy way of gaining levels for your main or alternative jobs. Since this has to do with dungeons and trials, you should always grab this every week on reset and finish it within two weeks of when you grabbed it. You can grab one weekly but they do not overlap so you'll have to finish one before you can grab the next one. How it works is you complete the required dungeon and trial and then you can click on the little icon to get a stamp. Getting nine stamps and hopefully some lines, you can turn that in for half of the experience bar of your currently equipped job. This may not seem like a lot when you're lower levels, but once you pass 70, it's easily going to give you 10 to 18 million experience each week and should not be passed up. My helpful tip here is you get retry points each time you do a dungeon, which you haven't already completed. They're not really hard to accumulate. I always seem to have nine and you can reopen a stamp on the book. What you can do if you don't have a group or an FC to run through each of the stamps with you or dungeons or trials, or or you don't have them unlocked. The first stamp is usually a dungeon completion between levels 1 and 49. Complete the stamp, use your points to retry it, and you can run it unsynced. And the first dungeon is Satasha. That usually takes me about three minutes, three and a half minutes to complete. And you can do your whole book this way. You don't really have to unlock other content. Some of those trials are extremes, which you'll never really do synced unless you're going for glamour. And even then you can run it unsynced with your free company. Doing it this way makes it a lot easier to complete the Wondrous Tales grabs. I I do recommend doing the dungeon stamps because they're pretty easy to do when you're going through the story. I usually only do my trick about two days before the reset if I know I'm going to get the stamps I need from doing the roulettes. Again, this is really kind of a passive way in the beginning of the week to earn your experience and then at the end of the week just make sure to complete it before the reset happens. Another thing to note here is you can run the dungeon with any character or any job, I should say. So what that means, if you have a level 80 character, you can run through an even quicker dungeon, which I find to be Orem Vale. It took me about two and a half minutes. And then you get the experience on the job that is equipped when you turn it in, which means you can do everything else on another main job and then switch jobs and just turn it in for that job. Again, this is just a really easy way to get experience passively for the most part and one you do not want to miss out on each week. Number two, Eden's Promise. The current rate out during the upload of this video is Eden's Promise, but for longevity's sake, I'm going to replace that with just current raid available. Usually the current or the most recent raid available for the patch is giving gear turn-ins to power up your gear. You want to make sure you're doing these at least once a week to get the turn-ins as there's usually a cap. So my current raid has a cap for each run so you can potentially lose some gear if you don't complete these each week since you can only get one turn-in from each of the raids available. The helpful hint here that I continually forget is that you can queue for all four at once since they're not duty roulettes. Sometimes I think they're the roulettes which only lets you queue for one at a time. Queue for all four and then uncheck as you complete. You can even make it go faster if you're a tank or a healer. But for DPS, queuing for all of them at the same time is super important and something I continually forget. Honestly, this made it go way faster and most people are looking to complete them on reset day anyway. I've never really had a problem getting into to the current rate since this is how you're getting some of the best gear and this is on normal not on savage if you're doing savage content you really should find a free company or a static to do those with number three weekly tombstones i always have a hard time pronouncing this it's not tombstones it's 
tombstone. This is something you do not want to miss out on capping each week. The weekly tombstones of the current patch are always capped to 450. Every week you'll want to do your daily expert and level 80 roulettes to get your tombstones. That paired with the current raid usually gets me to 450 in about three to four days. Once you get the amount you need, you can go to the associated vendor, which for the current patch 5.4 is in Yulmore, and get pretty great item level gear for the current patch. This keeps you from getting too far behind in item levels once the new patches come out. Something to keep in mind is I myself don't play Savage content, but I still like to have upgraded gear through out the patch since when new stuff comes out you're not as far behind and you can jump into it pretty quickly again capping out on your weekly tombstones is super important not even just for gear but you can get other things that you can sell on the market board and make a lot of money doing because people are all capped so they're all looking to get the stuff they need well guys those are my general three things that you should be doing every week without fail. If you like this video, please boop that like button and subscribe. I will start posting videos every Friday with a few others sprinkled in for seasonal events and other things that come up. You can find my social medias listed in the description box below and I'll see you all next time. Have a great new year.